people this is Debbie with the Crafty Diamond. Today's video is going to be a two-parter I guess. I have a small shop haul that I wanted to show you which won't take very long and also I need to kit up one more kit to take with me this weekend when I go to Scrapbook Expo and I have some that I would love to take but they're just really too big and so I have a small one that I've had for a long time. And so I'm going to kit that one up. But first I wanted to show you my small shop haul. The first one is, it's actually two pins. Making sure my address doesn't go here. And this one is from an Abler's Outpost. Isn't that pretty? I love their little bag. And this is Edward and Elizabeth. I have bought a couple of pins from them before. I love their pins. In here they have a little sticker. That's cute. They have a Jolly Rangers. I love Jolly Rangers. Um, this is watermelon. That's good. And then my daughter likes these. I think that's also watermelon maybe. Strawberry. Okay, and then also there are two placers here. This looks like a seven placer, which I use a lot, and mine just cracked, so that's nice to have another one. And this one looks like a four placer. Yep, four placer. Okay, so let's look at the pins. Oh, and also in every package that they send you, they give you one of these and um, this one is missing vowels and you can solve for the missing vowels and then also there is a cross it's not really crossword I guess you'd call it crossword and we enjoy doing these these are the only ones my daughter can actually do to look for the actual um, the actual words that's in the search and she liked that so we work on those together so that's gonna be fun I'm going to move this one out of the way. So let's see. This pin. It is so pretty. I love purple. And I love pink. This has purple. It has pink. And it has green in it. It's really pretty. It looks like marble. Um, but it's so gorgeous. I love how this pop of green is just here. Like it's splattered. And then it gets darker um, down through here. It is one of the thicker pins, but um, it doesn't feel heavy to me, so I really do like it. And the other one is this one. And this one is purple and black. And I think this one is absolutely gorgeous. I just love their pins. I love um, their canvases. I have only purchased one canvas from them, but I've also purchased another one that's a pre-order. So I'm not sure, I can't remember when that one's supposed to come in, but they are just a really nice couple and they are very funny. So if you get a chance, you should go to their YouTube and watch their lives. I mean, they are just hilarious together. And then I have this one. And this is from Patriotic Team. I'll do it this way. And this is the first time I have ordered from them. I have been eyeing their pens, but I just have not ordered. I don't even know how their shipping comes. I'm trying to be really careful. Careful that I don't tear anything in here. Take everything out. There's a lot in this bag. Oh wow, let's see. Is there an invoice in here? No. Okay. And they also give you some cute little stickers. And then a Twizzler. Oh, this is yellow. I bet this one's going to be good. Rainbow. Okay. And then here are some more little stickers. Here's a little cat. Oh, another Twizzler. What is this one? Oh, this one's orange. It's also rainbow. And I did not order a cover minder from them. Let's see what this is. And the magnet is being picked up by my desk. I have a magnetic 
pad on my desk that helps hold my cards down and it is grabbing these magnets and it just doesn't want to let go. This is a strong magnet. Let's see. And if you're not familiar with the cover minder, you, I'll need to glue that one back on, but that's fine. It, the glue came off, but I can just glue it right on there and that will be fine. It's a gorgeous butterfly. Isn't that pretty? And it matches the Twizzlers. Look at this. That's really cool. That is gorgeous. I love butterflies. I love how colorful that this is. And as you can see how this just sticks. But I can glue that back on. Now let's look at my pen. Oh, this is really pretty. This one is different. When I saw it, I wanted it because it is different. I like how you can see inside it, it's clear, but it also has a sunflower and the sunflower looks like it's inside because how clear that it is, but it also has like purple and gold that's inside. If you can see that very well, but that is just gorgeous and it's not very heavy either. Here's some more down here and it matches this cover minder just perfectly but I love how the inside is. And this one, and the little flower that's here, I'm going to take both, of, I'm gonna choose one of Enabled Outpost, and then I'm gonna also take this one with me for the weekend, so that's going to be fun. I have a couple more things that's coming in that has not come in yet. It's um, a tray for one, and I can't wait to show you that. I'm going to move everything out of the way. I'm going to reposition you, and then let's get to kitting up. It's only, and there goes those magnets. I'm just gonna put them over here, get them out of the way. And there's only 16 colors in this. It will not take very long at all, but I thought it would be fun to actually kit up with you guys instead of kitting up by myself. So don't go anywhere, I will be right back. Okay, here's what this looks like. This is just an owl. And I ordered this back in 2020 through Diamond Art Club. And it was one of the ones that they had for free and that you had to pay for shipping. But you could also have it um, enlarged and pay a little more. And they actually um, gave me the upgrade um, for free whenever I purchased my first diamond painting from them. And that one was Elizabeth. And as many diamond paintings as I have done since then, Elizabeth is by far my favorite. And I just looked at Diamond Art Club. They're having a 50% off on some of their canvases and she is one of them. So if you've been wanting that one, you may want to think about it and you may want to consider getting it because once it's gone, I'm pretty sure they're not going to bring it back since it is on such a heavy sale. But anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there. And if you've never purchased from Diamond Art Club, find someone that's an affiliate and you can get 15% um, off. I am not an affiliate with them, but um, never pay full price for Diamond Art Club. You can find all kinds of um, deals out there and they want you to use those deals. So with this kit, it is older. Um, I need to actually bend it backwards a little bit so it's straightened but um, it's gonna be a lot of color blocking. It's gonna be very easy. It's small enough for me to take so I can have it on my table. And the sticky is still there. I mean, you, it's really, really sticky. But the only downside with this one is that I do not have my um, actual stickers. I don't know if it came with it um, and I lost them or if at the time they didn't have those. But all I'm gonna do, because it's only 16 colors, is that I am just writing out one through 16 and I will just have to look on here, which isn't exactly what I'm crazy about doing, but um, for now, based on the time that I have and then also um, my printer is having issues, I am just gonna do um, one through 16. I could ask Diamond Art Club if they can send me a PDF, but you know I hate to do that and again, I'd have to print it. Um, but being only 16 colors, it's not going to be a problem at all. So I'm going to move this out of the way and get my containers. And then if you want to work on something kind of like a whip and chat, but it'll be a kit and chat, I guess. It can be kit up and chat. And we can do that. You can do that as well. I don't know why I'm rolling this up. I'm going to need it. 
Okay, I will be right back. Don't go anywhere. Okay, I have all of my drills. And again, there's really not that many. And I'm sorry for the glare. It is storming yet again. So I've got the overhead lights on. And I've had to move over a little bit. And so that's kind of messing things up. So hopefully it won't be too terribly dark. I like to use natural light as much as I possibly can. And it's just not happening. Alright. I wish that this was in order. Let's see. I'm going to have to go back and forth too on these. This is... I haven't done this before like this, so this is going to be rather challenging. This is 3033, and that's going to be number 11. I have a lot of these, of course. Alright, so I'm going to put as many as I can in here. I do have some baggies handy, because all these will not fit in here. I thought about using one of my other containers that holds quite a bit more than this, but since I'm taking it with me, I want to be as compact as possible. So I'm just going to put this in here, and what I'm going to do, I've got plenty more that I can put that in if I want. Let's see, how many stickers do I have? I have enough stickers. Let's do this. I'll go ahead, I'm going to put these in here, and I'm forever putting these upside down. Um, not upside down, but backwards. Because I have so many, I'm going to number these 11. Because if I don't, I will forget what number they are. And I have like three bags of these. Uh-oh. That's a wee bit too much. Okay. Let me get these up. And as long as these have been sitting here though, so far, of course I've just started, but there's not any static. I'm not going to open the other bags. I'm just going to have this one. And I'll put number 11 on here. I do have, I think, three other bags of this color. And I'll just put those in my bag. And I will label them what they, what they go to. So that way... I don't have them just out, although I could do that too. I guess it just depends when I'm done how I'm going to do this. I'll decide. I'm just going to put 11 here. That way I know all those are 11s. Okay, so I'm going to these other three bags. I'm just going to put over the side. Over here. And then these are really pretty colors. Here's an AB. If you're not familiar with ABs, that's Aurora Borealis, and it just has another special coating on here that makes it a little bit shinier. And this one is number one. There's not much of it. I, think I still have something on there. Okay, this is, see, there's not much on there at all. And I might even have a finish by the time I come back. I want to get my July little dessert cup finished. I don't know what that is on there. Get my July dessert cup finished. And then also want to get this one done. And anything else will just be extra. This is 900. That's number evil. 900, what did I say that was? That is 10. My husband has to drive, usually takes him about an hour to get home. He is past downtown Atlanta, so it takes him a while. And today it's storming, so it probably take him two hours to get home. I always hate that for him. 814, that's number nine. I don't know how I'm gonna like this, but kidding up this way. I don't mind kidding up like this, but I don't know how I'm going to like diamond painting like this, but it'll be fine. I would not do this if this was a larger kit. I would just have to make my own stickers, which, you know, I can do. It's no big deal. I do them many times, but I just thought this would be easy enough 
Lots of purples. This will match my pen. This will be perfect. This is, let's see, 208. This is number two. And I did not mean for it to match the pen that I just bought, but this is really cool. I'll definitely have to take that one now. I need to put it in my bag so I don't forget it. Let's see. And I have cards I made. We're doing a card swap. I've got to remember to take those. That's all I need to leave those at home. Um, let's see. 327. That's number four. So how is everybody doing? I didn't even ask you. I'm so bad. If I don't ask you, it's not because I don't care. I do care. I'm just really bad about not asking. Let's see. I get started and then I just, I'm bad about not asking. That's not nice. That's not good. Okay, I'm at 38, 37. That's number 13. My dog is just staring at me, so if you can hear something, it's her panting. I guess she's probably wondering why is she talking to herself again. Um, or maybe she thinks I'm talking to her and she has no clue what I'm saying. That could be it too. Okay, 3864. That is number 16. I think number 11 was the only one that is going to need multiple containers. So I may just go ahead, if that's the case, and just open those others up and just put those in there. That'll be one less thing that I have to worry about of where it is. Okay. I would love, I mean love, 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 to go on a diamond painting retreat. I have seen several pictures um, on Instagram of, and even really on YouTube, where there's been a couple of retreats recently, and they had so much fun. I would love to go to one. I know last year there was one in Texas, and that wouldn't be too far, and my really close friend has family in Texas, so we could actually ride together. I could go to the retreat and then she could go and visit her family because she doesn't diamond paint and I don't think she would feel really comfortable at a retreat not knowing anybody but me. Um, but it would be so much fun if they had one in Texas like they did last year. I could definitely go number seven. And I have family in Texas as well. Um, I, don't, I haven't seen them in forever and I've got to make a trip anyway because I'm just curious. My grandmother was gifted land um, where they were always drilling for oil and she was able to sustain her living um, from that, that money for a long time and then when she passed away she has my uncle as an overseer or executor I guess would be the right word and she has all of the grandkids on there as well as part you know owners if anything were to ever come up and even though my dad says that nothing has happened in years i would just love to go and see the land that was my grandmother's because we were so close and it would just be so nice for me to see and see where her family were for a long time and I would love to do that. And someday I'm going to. And my husband said we could take a, um, a week and just drive and go. But that's always so hard for him to get off work. And I have to do it in between terms at school. And so, um, I don't know. And he will not fly. He just absolutely refuses to fly anywhere. So we would have to drive if he went with me. But I could see me going to retreat. I really could. If I can get all these in here. Let's see. Just to take a diamond painting and just diamond paint all weekend with other create or other people, not necessarily creators, anybody.
that loves to diamond paint goes. And I, I don't know if it was all just diamond painting or not. Well, I gotta be careful and open that one. Um, but that would be so much fun. And I would take a much larger one. So I'd only take one instead of a bunch of small ones. But if anybody has, hears of anything like that, let me know. I think that would be so much fun. 3861. That's number 15. Getting closer to finishing this. And these colors. When I saw the owl, and I hadn't opened it in a long time, I thought, well, I'll open this one and see how small it is and see if it will work. And if it's something that is calling to me that I would want to do. And I first saw it, I thought, oh, I don't know. But then I looked at the colors, and these colors are really pretty. That's not going to fit. It's so close. Let's see if I can shake it up a little bit. I don't know, guys. I'm maybe making a big mess. I don't think it's going to close. Let's see. I may end up busting it. Ooh, I don't know. I really hope that doesn't come tumbling out of there. I've never had it that packed. Let's see about that one. It's in. Okay. This one, if that one barely fit, this one probably isn't going to. This is 3860. This is number 14. Whoa. Okay. Let's see what I'm going to do here. And the fact that this has been sitting around, and this poor thing has gone from two moves since I bought it, and so it's it's traveled. It hasn't traveled far. We didn't go very far when we were moving either time. All right, I'm going to just put this one in another one. Let's put this over. I'm going to put this down here because I want to use yeah, I don't know what I want to do. Okay, and these are attached, so once you put them on there, it's like, eh, it's got to stay. Because they're like attached, you can't, they're not separate. But I love these. Even though they are smaller, they're very compact. I have several of these, and I use these for my larger ones. That way I can put like symbols together. And I like how they don't take up much space. Oh. And I just tump that right over. This is why I can never, ever, ever, ever use baggies. I'm too much of a clut. Okay. Uh-oh. I bet this is 310. I'm going to have to look at it and tell you. Yep, I have two 310s. So what I'm going to do, let's see, this is going to be number three. I'll start this up here. And I'm going to have to use some of the other ones. This is going to be the strangest diamond painting for me to do. Not diamond painting itself, but the kit. I have all these kitted up. I'm going to skip down here and put threes. And I'll number all of these. As long as I remember what I'm doing. Okay, let's do this. No point in filling it full. I have another bag of 310. And of course, these are the old drills, but they still look good. I don't know if I mentioned, this is a round kit. You probably already figured that one out on your own. Um, but this is a round. So it'll also go faster because of that. Open there. Okay. Uh oh, we need more. Lots of three tens. Okay. I'm just gonna go across here. I can always rearrange this later. I'm gonna put three ten on here. I think it stopped raining again. Okay, so I'm just going to put three on here. And I hope these come off easily. If not, I'll have to use some Goo Gone or something on it. Oops, sorry, I just bumped you. 
And then I have one more, and this is 3760, and this should be number 12, and it is. It's a pretty blue. Okay. That's really pretty. There's no point in just doing that. I'm going to put 12 here. Oh, this is going to be such a mess. Um, okay, this is number 12. Let me do this. I can say I've never done this before. Okay, I like my symbols. Okay, this is going to be 12. And then this one, these three packs, I might as well just go ahead and put them in here so they're safe. This is going to be number 11. So I'm just going to go ahead, if I can reach, I'm trying not to reach over too much. I'm going to go ahead and just fill all of this up with three bags of number 11, which is 30, 33. And just glancing at these bags, they look really good. I mean, I don't see any bad drills. You know, I thought, well, maybe because this was a free kit, the drills may not be as nice, but you know, it's Diamond Art Club. It's really good. I don't know what that is on there. It's like a black drill. It's on the other one too. Okay, let me go ahead and fill this up. So all those are 11s. This is gonna be 11 behind it. The colors look really nice together. And of course, now my dog is crying. I knew she would. Okay. Two more bags. This has to be the background. And I don't like to do white for a background. For some reason, I just, when I do white and I try to multi-place and it's a lot of it, it just doesn't look right. So I think because this is this beigey color that it won't be so bad. I'm gonna go across here. everywhere. Well, not everywhere, but they're in the way. Okay. This is my last one. And I haven't done a small kit in a long, long time, so it's going to be fun to do a small kit. I'm going to put these over here. I can move that down. That way I don't have to put labels on all of these. In case I don't finish this, at least I'll know what this is. Whoop. Uh -huh. Okay. It's almost a catastrophe. Let's see. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. I've got a few more in there. Let's just put it in here. And then I'm going to this one up here and do this so that way they're all together it's a lot of 11s okay I don't know how you can see that it looks really pretty if you look through it's kind of hard to see with the numbers on there but maybe look on the side those are really pretty together and there and then over here on the end I hope that you enjoyed this short video and that you had a great weekend um, because you will see this on Sunday. By then, I will be absolutely exhausted from my weekend of fun and I might even be home by then. I probably won't get home until late Sunday afternoon, but um, that is okay um, with me. But I hope that um, you have a really nice weekend as well. And until next time, guys, have a great one and keep on crafting. Bye.